Hi everyone, welcome to On Point. In this video, we are going to discuss about incubator. So, without any delay, let's start the video. Incubator An incubator is an insulated and enclosed device used in biological laboratories. It creates an optimum environment, which is required for the growth of microorganisms by providing optimum temperature, humidity, and other environmental conditions such as the CO2, and oxygen content inside's atmosphere. In laboratories, it is used to grow and maintain, microbiological cultures or cell cultures. Both bacterial and eukaryotic cell organisms, are cultivated by using an incubator. Principle An incubator is based on the principle, that microorganisms require, a particular set of parameters for their growth, and development. All incubators are based on the concept, that when organisms are provided with the optimal condition of temperature, humidity, oxygen, and carbon dioxide levels, they grow and divide to form, more organisms. In an incubator, the thermostat maintains a constant temperature, that can be read from, the outside via the thermometer. The temperature is maintained by utilizing the heating, and no heating cycles. During the heating cycle, the thermostat heats the incubator, and during the no heating period, the heating is stopped, and the incubator is cooled, by radiating heat to the surrounding. Insulation from the outside creates, an isolated condition inside the cabinet, which allows the microbes to grow effectively. Similarly, other parameters like humidity and airflow, are also maintained through different mechanisms, that create an environment similar to the, natural environment of the organisms. Similarly, they are provided with adjustments, for maintaining the concentration of CO2, to balance the pH and humidity, required for the growth of the organisms. Variation of the incubator like a shaking incubator, is also available, which allows for the continuous movement, of the culture required for cell aeration, and solubility studies. Components An incubator is made up of different parts or components, which help to maintain the optimum condition, required for the bacteria growth. The parts of an incubator are Cabinet The cabinet is the main body of the incubator, consisting of a double-walled, cuboidal enclosure with a capacity, ranging from 20 to 800 liter. The outer wall is made up of, stainless steel sheets, while the inner wall is made up of aluminum. The space between the two walls is, filled with glass wool, to provide insulation to the incubator. The insulation prevents heat loss, and reduces electric consumption, thereby ensuring the smooth working of the device. The inner wall of the incubator is provided with, inward projections that support, the shelves present inside the incubator. Door A door is present in all incubators, to close the insulated cabinet. The door also has insulation of its own. It is also provided with a glass, that enables the visualization of the interior, of the incubator during incubation, without disturbing the interior environment. A handle is present on the outside of the door, to help with the maneuvering of the door. Control Panel On the outer wall of the incubator, is a control panel with all the switches, and indicators that allows the parameters, of the incubator to be controlled. The control panel also has a switch, to control the thermostat of the device. Thermostat A thermostat is used to, set the desired temperature of the incubator. After the desired temperature is reached, the thermostat automatically maintains, the incubator at that temperature, until the temperature is changed again. Perforated Shelves Bound to the inner wall are some perforated shelves, onto which the plates with the culture media are placed. The perforations on the shelves allow the movement, of hot air throughout the inside of the incubator. In some incubators, the shelves are removable, which allows the shelves to be cleaned properly. 
Asbestos Door Gasket The asbestos door gasket provides an almost airtight seal between the door and the cabinet. This seal prevents the outside air from entering the cabinet and thus creating an isolated hot environment inside the cabinet without being interrupted by the external environment. L-shaped thermometer A thermometer is placed on the top part of the outer wall of the incubator. One end of the thermometer provided with gradations, remains outside of the incubator, so that temperature can be read easily. The next end with the mercury bulb, is protruded slightly, into the chamber of the incubator. HEPA filters Some advanced incubators are also provided with HEPA filters, to lower the possible contamination created due to airflow. An air pump with filters creates a closed loop system, so that the air flowing inside the incubator generates less contamination. Humidity and gas control. The CO2 incubators are provided with a reservoir underneath the chamber that contains water. The water is vaporized to maintain the relative humidity inside the chamber. Similarly, these incubators are also provided with gas chambers to give the desired concentration of CO2 inside the incubator. Procedure for running an incubator Once the cultures of organisms are created, the culture plates are to be placed inside an incubator, at the desired temperature, and required period of time. In most clinical laboratories, the usual temperature to be maintained, is 35 to 37 degrees Celsius for bacteria. The following are the steps to be followed while running an incubator. 1. Before using the incubator, it should be made sure that no remaining items are present in the incubator are from the previous cycles. However, in some cases, if the same incubator is being used for multiple organisms, and they require the same set of parameters, they can be placed together in the same incubator. 2. The door of the incubator is then kept closed and the incubator is switched on. The incubator has to be heated up, to the desired temperature of the growth, of the particular organism. The thermometer can be used to see, if the temperature has reached. 3. In the meantime, if the organism requires a particular concentration of CO2, or a specific humidity, those parameters should also be set in the incubator. For once all the parameters are met, the petri dish cultures are placed, on the perforated shelves upside down, that is, media uppermost. This is necessary because if the plates are incubated normally, condensation collects on the surface of the medium, and prevents the formation of isolated colonies. 5. If it is necessary to incubate petri dish cultures for several days, the plates are sealed with adhesive tapes, or are placed in plastic bags or plastic food containers. 6. Now the door is locked, and the plates are kept inside, for the required time before taking them out. Types of incubators On the basis of the presence of a particular parameter, or the purpose of the incubator, incubators are divided into the following types. Bentop incubators this is the most common type of incubator used in most of the laboratories. These incubators are the basic types of incubators with temperature, control, and insulation. CO2 incubators CO2 incubators are the special kinds of incubators that are provided with automatic control of CO2 and humidity. This type of incubator is used for the growth of the cultivation of different bacteria requiring 5 to 10 percent of CO2 concentration. For humidity control, water is kept underneath the cabinet of the incubator. Cooled incubators. For incubation at temperatures below the ambient, incubators are fitted with modified refrigeration systems with heating and cooling controls. This type of incubator is called the cooling incubator. In the cooling incubator, the heating and cooling controls should be appropriately balanced. Shaker incubator 
A thermostatically controlled shaker incubator is another piece of apparatus used to cultivate microorganisms. Its advantage is that it provides a rapid and uniform transfer of heat to the culture vessel and its agitation provides increased aeration, resulting in acceleration of growth. This incubator, however, can only be used for broth or liquid culture media. Portable incubator Portable incubators are smaller in size and are used in field work, example environmental microbiology and water examination. Uses of incubator Incubators have a wide range of applications, in various areas including cell culture, pharmaceutical studies, hematological studies, and biochemical studies. Some of the uses of incubators are given below. 1. Incubators are used to grow microbial culture, or cell cultures. 2. Incubators can also be used, to maintain the culture of organisms to be used later. 3. Some incubators are used, to increase the growth rate of organisms, having a prolonged growth rate, in the natural environment. 4. Specific incubators are used, for the reproduction of microbial colonies, and subsequent determination of biochemical oxygen demand. 5. These are also used for breeding of insects, and hatching of eggs in zoology. 6. Incubators also provide a controlled condition, for sample storage before they can be processed in the laboratories. Precautions The following precautions are to be followed while running an incubator. 1. As microorganisms are susceptible to temperature change, the fluctuations in temperature, of the cabinet by repeatedly, opening the door should be avoided. 2. The required parameters growth of the organism, should be met before the culture plates, are placed inside the cabinet. 3. The plates should be placed upside down, with the lid at the bottom, to prevent the condensation of water onto the media. 4. The inside of the incubators should be cleaned regularly, to prevent the organisms from settling on the shelves, or the corners of the incubator. 5. While running the incubator for an extended period of time, Sterile water should be placed underneath the shelves, to prevent the culture media from drying out. That's all for now, for more updates please do like, share, and subscribe, see you in next video, thank you.